empty shelves, packed stores. And another customer in here just told me the whole meat section was wiped out. Okay, what's going on with all my money motivated stars, man? Like, as y'all can see in the uh, clip that I just showed y'all, it's happening again. <laughs> Cause that's like a two day old clip I just showed y'all. Like it was recently posted on YouTube, you know what I mean? From a news channel. So y'all already know, I just went live about that. The port, the dock workers, you know what I mean? On strike. So, you know, uh, Memphis is feeling the effect of that. Like I said, I'm from Memphis and people uh, around the world is feeling the effects of it too. You know what I mean? Cause that's what they want to happen. You know what I mean? So I be trying to tell people, man, the government got a system and you can't recognize the system you're not going you know what i'm saying you're going you're not going to be able to recognize the patterns and what's coming next like a lot of us we all knew this was coming because it already came around the pandemic time you know people's buying up all the tissue just like they're doing again there's nothing where they say history constantly repeats itself because these people are constantly doing the same shit. like literally how can not how can people not see it like i it's like 50-50 when stuff like this happen because I, I be hating it happen, but I be, I be also glad it happened because it gives people another chance to wake up because they was like, okay, if I didn't know nothing about what these people be talking about, at least I saw, saw this guy's live, or this guy's video of him talking about that, and now it's happening, you know what I mean? Like I said, it's not predictive. It's just the patterns. People, before I got on YouTube, people was talking about this stuff, you know what I mean? And I'm just able to get on here and recognize it. And y'all, just like y'all able to get on here and recognize it, why I say these videos need to be shared because it's nothing that they're doing that we really don't recognize. It's a lot of stuff that they got planned that we don't know because that's a lot of stuff that they don't show us. But the stuff that we are seeing, it's all programmed. You know what I mean? How is that not a program? It's like any te television show you watch, Family guys, program. They what they doing the same stuff. They wearing the same clothes. It's program. You already know what Peter Griffin gonna have on the next episode because they showing you. That's the same thing they doing when it comes to this news channel and all this stuff. It's programming. And people laughing when you call TV program and all that, but it's literally called a TV program, and they literally program you with information. They constantly tell you this. How is that not a program? Because I don't think people know the definition of programming. If you laughing. It, me as a human calling you a human program you know what i mean because if you watch the news and they tell you it's finna be a storm coming and you go buy a lot of food because you think a storm coming which happens a lot and the storm don't even come who who put their programming in you the news they gave you some information which you downloaded with your senses in your brain and you said let me go do this there's no different from me putting a gun in a child's hand and telling them to go commit a murder. I program that child to go do that. That's why television programs are around. So when it comes down to it, a lot of people need to stop watching the programs if they don't know and they not aware of the uh, the patterns. You know what I mean? Like I said, it always happened around election time. As soon as election time come, you're going to hear the strike going to be in stop. You know what I mean? Or they gonna barely cover it so we you wouldn't even know what's going on because like the information we get from them they only tell us because they want us to go do stuff like this you know what i mean because a lot of people when i tell because a lot of people can say well you contradicted you be telling people to go stock up and do stuff like that so why you got a problem with people going to buy all the tissue and buy all this you know what i mean because that's not the type of stocking up people like us be talking about you know what i mean when we say stock up yes we do we don't say go get like bulk items, you know what I mean? We say like, okay, cause I gotta address a comment that uh, somebody left in my life it was a woman. She's like, a lot of people can't afford to stock up. And I call people bluff on it. Everybody, everybody can stock up, man. The stock up, that I think people think in their head, I really think they think the stock up like these people go do when they go buy a lot of tissue, buy bulk stuff, no. When we telling people to stock up, man, we say go get, a, two, three items per week. You know what I mean? Two, three items per month because it ain't like when we tell y'all it be some last minute shit. We've been talking about this shit for years and just saying keep food in your uh, cabinet, keep in your storage, you know what I'm saying, basement, whatever you got, keep it because a lot of stuff like this does go on. You know what I mean? So if you was a person that got like a 50 to roll of tissue, you know what I mean? 
this stuff is not gonna affect you. You know what I mean? That's what I, like I was telling people back in the day. Keep a shower filter on your filter because when these storms and stuff hit, the pipes be rusted and they say you can't even take showers for a couple of days. Boil your water before you get in the tub. And I'm a person who have a shower filter on my uh, filter, you know what I'm saying? So when it comes down to it, it's a lot of stuff you can avoid just by being prepared for it. I didn't, we didn't have to boil no water in my uh, household because we already was prepared with a shower filter. So when I say go stock up, I don't be saying go, cause a lot of people, there's two things people uh, have, it's a misconception on. A lot of people say they can't afford uh, to stock up because they thinking that me, uh, people like us are saying, it's saying like, go get, go stock up on lobster, beef, uh, no, we not, I'm not even talking about go get meat when I say stock up, I'm talking about get like, shit like rice, man, Ch the cheapest stuff you can find, bro, you know what I mean, like I said, if you got enough money for the healthy stuff, and like the quinoa, and the wild rice, and the kelp noodles, go get there, of course, you want to be, you want to be in a time of crisis, you want to be healthy as well, but if you, if you can't so-called afford that, noodles is, ain't nothing but a dollar, bro, if you get, you can stack up you can stack up a pack of noodles every week for a year and still that all this stuff will accumulate you know what i mean bag of rice ain't nothing but a dollar man who can't stock up who can't afford to stock up yes you can nobody ain't nobody telling you to run to these store like these people doing and go buy up all this stuff because that is a selfish way of stocking up that, that lets you that lets me know Oh, I was an ignorant person. I probably seen a lot of these YouTubers talking about go stock up. I probably seen this, but when the news said it, that's when I want to go do it. And when I go do it this time, I want to buy buy it all up from uh, different families. Because I got the money to go buy it now. That's a selfish way of stocking up, man. That's last minute procrastination shit. I smoke weed all day type shit. You know what I'm saying? Nah, man. When I say stock up, I say... Go get cheap items and let this stuff accumulate over time. Just being prepared. But like I said, you can never be, be, really be true, pre truly prepared in this matrix. Because like uh, Mia said on the comments, you know, some people uh, probably stocked up when during the hurricanes and all that. And they house got washed away and they didn't stock up. You know what I mean? So you never really can prepare. But my alternate suggestion is always going to be fasting. Just get used to doing it because your body is going to make the necessary adjustments for whatever conditions you put it in it's like when even just having cancer or whatever you know what i mean cancer kills but if it was just killed like that people would die as soon as they get cancer your body make the necessary necessary adjustments to have cancer all the way up until you die that's how strong your body is so if you don't put nothing in your body that's not causing cancer your body's gonna make the necessary necessary adjustments to heal itself quicker you know what i mean our bodies are very, very, very intelligent. It's about how much poison we put in it at a certain amount of time. You know what I mean? A certain amount and a certain amount of time. You know what I mean? So everybody is able to stock up, man. Like I said, we seen what we been saying we was going to see. More people buying all the tissue. More people buying all the paper towels. More people buying all the meat. Just like the woman said, all the meat is gone. You know what I mean? That's, that's the last thing you should be able to stock, you supposed to be stocking up on, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to a lot of this stuff, meat. That's why I say in my life, man, a lot of people are gonna become cannibals, buying up all the meats, you know what I mean? You better be buying up all the, like I said, buy the, like I, it's, it's unhealthy, but buying like the rice, the wild rice, like the, the noodles, the, uh, even the little snacks, you know what I mean? Like the cheeses and all this, you know? Like I said, it's very very unhealthy, but it's not like you're gonna be eating a whole box at a time. And th like I said, that was the first misconception when I see, you know what I'm saying, people like uh, go buy the most expensive stuff. But the second misconception is, is when they go stock up on, stock up on all this food, they feel like they not putting they self in the mindset of you're not gonna be eating the same portions of food that you would eat if it wasn't a crisis. You know what I mean? For example, that's like, if you went and bought a bag of cashews and it was only 30 cashews in the bag, in a time where it's not a crisis, you probably eat that whole thing in, in less than an hour. You know what I mean? But in a time of a crisis, that bag with the 30 cashews in there, I would hope you would try to stretch that out for a week or two if it's the only thing of food you got. 
You know what I'm saying? It's the people, that, they don't put themselves in survival mode when they typing or when they thinking about stuff, man. You're not going to eat how you would. You're not going to eat. Some people eat like four, five times a day. You know what I'm saying? They probably eat three meals, two meals, or they probably eat two meals and snack for the rest of the day, three, four times. I would hope that you would gain a new concept of eating if you was in the middle of a crisis, you wouldn't eat three to four times a day. I would hope you would minimize it to one. You know what I'm saying? Like people don't think like that. Like I'm not saying like go stock up and just be in a room full of uh stuff. Like a lot of people don't can't afford it at one time. But like I said, over the time you can accumulate a lot of stuff, and you're gonna have to think smart with the items that you have. A lot of people just doing you know they talk outside their neck because. These are, and these are most of the people who panic and go buy stuff like this because they not thinking consciously, man. When these news trying to put you in fear, a lot of people not thinking consciously. That's why they go buy a lot of tissue. Probably don't even really wipe their ass like that, but it's just like a fear mechanism of saying, go get tissue. You know what I mean? And when it comes down to, because a lot of people say, well, this ain't no conspiracy. These are workers that's just fed up with they uh, pay. They want to get paid more and they should get paid more. Yeah, everybody should get paid more. But you know, this it's still people don't think it's government things going on just because these are real workers that's complaining about pay. But in these jobs, I don't care any job you go to, Walmart, any warehouse you go to, there are government uh, agents there. You know what I mean? The skies is real people. So yes, it may be a situation that the government plan, and you thinking. It ain't, it ain't got nothing to do with the government because these are workers that just fed up. But I'm going to say, put it like this. If it's like 20 dock workers on there, yeah, everybody thinking they pay uh, effed up. But if these five government agents or these five people who pretending to be hard workers, if they just start a strike, you know what I mean? Infiltration, basically. If they say, okay, we know if we start working and we convince Bobby, you know what I'm saying, to do this too, He's gonna get Kyle to do it, you know what I mean? And then it becomes a real thing, you know what I mean? That's what infiltration is. So a lot of people think, ah, oh, these just are, oh, these just real workers, and they got nothing to do with the government. Why y'all always saying this is the government and this is set up? Because all this stuff always happen around the same time. And like I said, if you're smart enough to know, you know that these people have to be around the higher class, middle class, and lower class, bro, to run a whole uh, organization like this and a group of people. You have to have people on the inside, man. This, this, this with CSI, any crime scene investigation shit you watch on news, now they, they show you how they operate. That's how anybody can be infiltrated. You don't think it's, yes, uh, the workers at your job, yes, it's 95% normal workers, but the other 5% are people who can lead other people to do this. You know what I'm saying? Like certain managers, certain uh, employees do the same thing you do. You think they just... You know what I mean? That they just dare, they normal working like mine. This shit goes so deep on a deeper level that people won't even be able to fathom because it'll put them, it'll put most people in the mindset of a movie, or of a, of a series. You know what I mean? But <laughs> these series and movies are around for a reason, man. They show you how they infiltrate the human people. They show you how they program you with the, uh, uh, the, uh, the false history in the history books the words, the spelling, the spells you put on yourself, the cartoons, the comedy, the movies. It takes a lot to program a human, you know what I mean? But don't be think don't think just because you you live in a modern day life and you go into a average job that there's so called above average thing going on in the in their place. They always got eyes on you. They always need to be watching you. That's why they got the tracking device, the phones we have right now. That's why. It's not for just our entertainment and our liberation. It's to keep the tracking device, keep it, keep it tracking on you. That's why they have cameras in the hood everywhere that you don't think they have them in. You know what I mean? So if they got cameras in the hood where people not even working it in the hood, people just living their own day-to-day -day -day lives, what make you think they don't have cameras in jobs, spies at jobs? You know what I mean? Like I said, this shit get too sci-fi for people and they don't want to just recognize it, but, man, okay. There's a lot of people out here, man, don't get a rude awakening. Like I said, if you're not uh, mentally preparing yourself for this shit, that's just how it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, like all this tissue buying, all this stuff, there's people that's not mentally prepared to go through nothing. 
You know what I mean? They're not calm in a situation like this because they haven't been preparing themselves. They skip over videos like this. You know what I mean? When people share videos like this, they don't, ah, these folks been talking about this for years. They call it, what, 10 4 hat people? You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's crazy. Like I said, man, let's just watch this, uh, this circus, this clown show. Let's keep on unfolding, you know what I mean? The people who share are gonna share. The people who like the video are gonna like the video, you know? So, it is, it is what it is, man. Y'all be blessed on walking in smoke.